Hey folks, this clip is brought to you by Omaha Steaks. Visit omahasteaks.com and type in promo code VOLS, that's V-O-L-S, at checkout to fill your freezer with enough gourmet food to keep your cookouts going strong into the fall. That is omahasteaks.com, promo code VOLS. Now to predict the game. Um, oh, let's bef before we predict the game, though, let's do talk about, we, we missed this earlier. I skipped right over and I realized I did it after I already had. Tennessee got a commitment from a recruit this week. And I, I want to talk briefly about that before we give our prediction to end the show. Um, Caleb Beasley, cornerback from the state uh, of Tennessee, four-star guy, commits to Tennessee, I believe on Friday night. Yeah, yeah late um, Friday, yeah. Yeah, I, I had his uh, his profile open here. Let's see, according to 247, he's the number two player in the state of Tennessee number 19 player in America at his position and the number 171 player overall. Um, Tennessee in the lead for the number one player in the state of Tennessee, Edwin Spillman, it looks like, at least according to 247. And then... Um, and that's his... Uh, is that is that Beasley's teammate? Are they... Uh, let's see. The Beasley is... Yeah, both Lipscomb Academy in, in okay. Nashville, uh, where my mom went to school, actually, ironically. Um, or what? It was a... I think it went by a different name back then. But anyway... Um, so, Be Beasley commits, and the thing that I want to talk about that I don't think has been talked about a lot with Hypel and recruiting, we've talked about in past weeks, like the crazy experience that you gave to recruits at the Florida game and at the Alabama game and how that's going to change recruiting, and that's absolutely true. And Lord knows right now you need a, a freaking DB <laughs> you know, to play for this team at the moment. Uh, so that's very welcome help. It is the, the class of 2024. You're not going to get them for two years. but. Um, in state recruiting, nobody, Butch emphasized it so, so, so much. And, you know, we're going to build a wall around the state or whatever he said, and, you know, lock, lock down the state. And then Pruitt didn't do that at all. He like burned relationships. It was horrendous. Everybody he just um, wanted to recruit three star dudes from Alabama. <laughs> yeah, ex exactly. That was his whole MO. And then Heupel now he, in the 2023 class, he has the number one player from the state of Tennessee coming in, but that's basically it out of the top 10. Um, I have to go, go back and look to make sure. Um, yeah, yeah, I think that's. Let me. I might have. I'll the, confirm uh, this. The oh, it went. It went to the national rankings and not just the. No, I got you. That's that's the only one they've got. But they, you know, Chance yeah, Fitzgerald is the ranked number ten in this class, and that's a player that's like trending up. That Tennessee seems to be focusing on, and then you got the one that's weird to me is a Darius Redmond from Powell. Ranked as the number seven player in the state, but it, it four star guy, but it doesn't seem like his recruitment adds up to where he's ranked. Tennessee's not really showing a ton of interest in him. You think that they would being a four star guy from Powell, but it doesn't seem like they really are that much. So that's an odd one. I, I don't know if they the recruiting rate uh sites have got that wrong that he's not in line with the evaluations that Tennessee and other programs have, but that's a, that's a strange one to me. I, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm looking, I was looking at everything while you were saying all that and trying to listen all at the same time. Um, but this, I, I, I like the way that Hypel is handling the in-state recruiting. That was going to kind of be my overarching point here with this discussion. Like Butch emphasized it like crazy. Pruitt didn't emphasize it at all. I like that Hypel is just going, when we want kids from the state of Tennessee, we're going to get them. And that's that's going to be that. Because you think about it, like, I've always thought that the overemphasis on owning the state of Tennessee, obviously the University of Tennessee should be the prime spot for kids from the state of Tennessee to go. When mm -hmm. you get a five-star player from the state of Tennessee, they should want to go to Tennessee. From tailgate parties to busy weeknights, the flavor experts at Omaha Steaks have made it easy to savor all the flavors of fall with their mouthwatering assortments of perfectly aged steaks, ultra juicy burgers, and easy to prepare comfort meals that are ready in a flash. Right now, take advantage of 50% off site wide by shopping their semi annual sale. The sale only happens twice a year and it is on right now. Now you get 50% off delicious customer favorites. And when you use promo code VOLS, that is V-O-L-S at checkout, you get an additional $30 off your order. And guys, I've now had, uh, I've had the burgers, I've had the Franks, I've had the chicken from Omaha Steaks. It is all phenomenal. It comes in this great freezer packed way right to your door. Incredibly convenient. Uh, I, I can't 
say enough about it, honestly. So don't wait. Go to omahasteaks.com and enter Vols at checkout and stock up on fall flavor today. Omaha Steaks is perfect for those chilly and busy fall nights with entrees that are ready before the kids can even say what's for dinner. And don't forget to use the promo code Vols at checkout and score your extra $30 off. Omaha Steaks isn't just steak. It is the best steak of your life, guaranteed. That's omahasteaks.com. Promo code VOLS at checkout. Minimum order may be required. Omaha Steaks. Promo code VOLS. But on the whole, I mean, Fulmer won with players from Georgia. Players from South Carolina. Like, he's, this wasn't built. Peyton Manning was from Louisiana. You know, this the, the greatest years with this team weren't fully built on players from Tennessee. This isn't like Wisconsin or Nebraska where you got to get these, you know, corn fed giant dudes out of Nebraska. And that's what the team is built on. It's Tennessee is a pretty middling state in terms of football talent. No offense to anybody that plays high school football. In Tennessee. It has got better, especially it, in the middle. It, it has absolutely gotten better since kind of Fulmer's days and things, but it's, it's not fully built on that. And I, I just liked it. Hypel, like he's not just like everything is built on recruiting in the state of Tennessee. He's getting these dudes. He's getting the number one player from the state of Tennessee. It looks like he may get the number one and number two players from the state of Tennessee in this coming year. And that's what you want, but you're not going to hang your hat on it. What you really got to hang your hat on is just getting the elite talent in America. And I think that's where they're going. So I, I love to see this, but I don't, want to see them just be like, we got to get every guy from Tennessee. And if we don't, it's a total failure. It's not a total failure. If you don't get every guy from Tennessee, it's a total failure. If you don't get every elite guy from the state of Tennessee, which that's what I think is important with this in-state recruiting and what Josh Heupel is doing is you build all these relationships and you go visit guys and you make the effort, even when necessarily there isn't a guy that maybe you, you want that bad, but you, you do that to set yourself up for later when that five-star guy comes through. Cause if you don't, if you ignore it, like the way, especially like the way Derek Dooley did. And then all of a sudden Von Bell comes up and you haven't shown any interest in him. And then, you know, Butch comes in it, he had no chance. And and I'm, it's not an excuse for Butch, but he really had no chance in that situation because Dooley just burned those bridges so badly. You have to keep those relationships at all times, no matter what the talent is, you have to keep those relationships good because you don't know when the next T Higgins is going to come through and you don't, you don't want to see them, slip away to Clemson or Georgia exactly. or South Carolina or any, anything like that. When those, and I think he's doing a good job of that. When, yeah, I, I, I agree. And when those opportunities come up, you got to capitalize. Like, don't, I think somebody said in the comments over here, don't let it be Trevor Lawrence all over again, where for four years, all we, or however long he was there. I don't think he played all four years, but for the entire time he was at Clemson, all we ever heard was, former Tennessee fan. And there was a freaking picture of him as a kid in a Tennessee Jersey and all of that stuff. And then he goes to Clemson and he's well, him and him and Higgins and Amari Rogers uh, all there. at the uh, same time. And I mean, that was, uh, it was brutal to watch all those players should have been at Tennessee. And even, uh, was it Trevor or Trevor Etienne? I can't remember which one's which now Yeah, from Louisiana, but oddly grew up rooting for Tennessee and kind of wanting to go there. And they didn't really, I didn't really go after him at all, and he ended up at Clemson. Yeah, get a, get them all, but just uh, don't don't let those dudes slip by anymore. And I like Hypel is making those inroads, repairing those relationships, getting back in that game. Clearly, getting the already some of the top guys from the state of Tennessee. But it's not this. Everything is built on Tennessee. We're locking down the state. No, I want great players from Georgia. I want great players from Alabama, from Texas, from wherever. California for, with Nico Eo Maliava. Yeah, he's got a couple from Louisiana I, already too, which is exactly not, not common. I don't care where the great players come from. Just make sure they go to Tennessee. That's all I want. That's all I want to see. Um, but I, I just I wanted to hit that before we moved on to our our predictions for the Kentucky game because I thought it it was. Uh, significant there uh and and like some somebody mentions mazio bennett here we talked about him last week on the show uh so you can go listen back to that if you want to we and we posted it as a separate clip too for recruiting um but there's that 